Our first alert weather day began with gusty south winds and some tricky travel conditions with reduced visibility. Those south winds really warm temperatures, though. We're continuing our first alert weather day right into your morning tomorrow because the wind is going to pick back up. Now, it's not all that windy in the Devil's Lake Basin. We do have some gusts at times over 30 miles per hour, but take a look at this vehicle in the ditch. This is Highway 57 south of town. We just showed you that. And then here's another look at that Jamestown area, uh, basically northern Stutzman County, north of I-94, just completely covered roads there. So we do have some tricky travel tonight. Wind and snow is in the forecast and some cold returning as well. So our warm up only brief. We are expecting the chance as winds gust over 40 miles per hour for some blizzard like conditions uh, in open country at times, not everywhere and not all the time. Blowing snow, icy roads last right into the morning hours for your morning commute. Give yourself extra time. There will be lowered visibility and the cold air returns. Look at this warm up huge 40 degrees warmer than yesterday at this time. And remember some of our coldest temperatures yesterday came as we approached the 10 o'clock hour. So we'll be in many locations 40 to 50 degrees warmer as we talked about last night out at Hector at this hour. Your temperature 28 degrees. We have a west southwest wind still with that southerly component here helping to keep us warmer 14 miles per hour. But out to the west where we see the colors here, we have gusts to 40 miles per hour in Jamestown and they hit over 50 miles per hour in the Minot area. And this punch of wind is going to work its way into the Highway 200 corridor, the I-94 corridor and right here into the valley this evening. This is behind a cold front that's making its way to us. A few more wind gusts, uh, a little bit of a lull in the gusty nature of the wind in Devil's Lake as we saw on our tower camera there, but Cooperstown to Carrington gusts of around 40 miles per hour. This will be reducing visibility rugby under two miles under two miles in Grafton and Hallock at this hour as well. But we have some light snow taking place in northwest portions of Minnesota right now, and at times we're getting reports of raindrops making their way down to the ground. But you can imagine that with temperatures above freezing there to the left of Hutch's freezing line to the right. We stay in those 20s. Here's a look at that snow shower activity behind the cold front that's working its way in right now. Now that's moving through Grand Forks, northwest Minnesota. It's not heavy, but it will be continuing to move through our area in your hour by hour forecast between now and 10 o'clock. Then hit and miss areas of snow. Our wind becomes northwesterly, so we talked about that southerly component to the wind in Fargo. Now by 10 o'clock tonight, gusty northwest winds will take hold and Essentially, we're talking about gusts over 40 miles per hour. As we go through, you saw the yellow arrows dash through the screen. After about two in the morning, we'll finally start to see a little bit of a, a decrease in wind speeds, but look at temperatures falling all night from near 30 to the single digits above zero at least. And that's how we start your day. Blowing and drifting snow for the morning commute, a challenge. Still some pretty nasty wind chills out there as well for the bus riders, not as bad as we've been. Watch your temperature in your hometown. It continues falling as we go through the midday hour. Still breezy from the north northwest. That's going to usher in. Look at this sub zero air temperatures as we go toward the evening hour. So falling temperatures, but a lot less windy for your nighttime hours. So our warm up very short lived Fargo's planner. We start out your day tomorrow at 14 degrees. Woo temperatures slip sliding away with north winds at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Remember that morning commute will be a challenge with icy roads and of course we'll have some concerns with those gusty winds reducing visibility at times. The wind decreases, but so do our temperatures as well. Tiffany, thanks so much for another gorgeous, colorful and vibrant shot of Comstock, Minnesota. Now planning forecast. We're going to continue that first alert weather day into the morning commute tomorrow. Then it's just going to be downright cold with afternoon temperatures in the single digits will fall below zero at the nighttime hours. Now Friday quiet and at quiet weather lasts into Saturday. Mike Sunday, not too bad, but a little cooler. We might see some light snow in the middle of next week as our next round of cold comes in, but not as cold as we've been. So that's uh, maybe a little bit of milk in the bottom of the glass. I need a little reassurance. Today was just a winter warm up, not summer. Right, just a just a little winter. hiccup. Okay, right. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Yeah. Say people